But if you focus so much on losing weight that you put second your quality of life, that you put second how you feel, it's gonna be very difficult to lose weight. All right, so let's crack open meal plans today. This is one of the reasons why I don't like meal plans. Meal plans are oftentimes looked at as way too restrictive. And most people that get meal plans view it that way. They think that the foods that are on the meal plans are magical. They think the foods that are on the meal plans are the only ones they can eat. And if they don't follow that meal plan, they have no idea what they're supposed to do. So what I like to do in my coaching is teach you how to navigate the world of food so that you can make decisions based on what you like, but also what's good for you and understand the consequences of the choices that you make. For example, if you try to follow a healthy diet 100% of the time, you are probably going to be miserable because you're not having some of those more pleasure-like foods. You're not being, you're not giving yourself permission to fit those in. On the same token, if you don't eat healthy foods at all and all you eat is processed foods, you're more than likely going to eat more calories than you need and that is going to add to your body fat or you have more of a chance of eating foods that are high in calories that are gonna add up and eventually are going to add into body fat. What most people have a hard time doing is trying to marry those two things and have a balanced lifestyle. So that's what I do in my coaching. I teach you, hey, guess what? And I, a lot of times I'll use the example of money because it's very similar to money. How you budget your money is how you should budget your calories. You don't blow all of your money on some kind of thing that you want that you really don't need every time you get a paycheck, right? You devote a certain amount of money to your bills to your mortgage to whatever you have to pay for every month and then the rest of it you either save or you spend based on necessity same thing goes with calories 80 percent of your calories should come from foods that are whole food based vitamins protein especially minerals all the things that you would want in food and not just those things but also filling you up one of the hardest things to do when you are trying to diet and lose body fat is fight hunger well what if you ate in a way that fought hunger naturally and didn't make it feel like you were starving yourself. The more educated you become on this, the easier life gets when it comes around, when it comes to food. And the easier it is to manage not only your weight, but manage your entire life. Because when you can manage your weight and you can feel good, you can get a lot of stuff done, you're gonna have a better quality life. So yes, losing weight is an important thing for lots of people, but if you focus so much on losing weight that you put second, your quality of life, that you put second how you feel, it's gonna be very difficult to lose weight. Losing weight can result in having a better quality life, but if you only focus on losing weight, you'll have a very poor quality of life. So that's one of the reasons why I hate meal plans. And I'll use the word hate because at this point in my career as a coach, when, when someone comes to me and says, I followed this meal plan, I got results, and then the weight came back, I tell them, listen, meal plans aren't going to work forever. You have to learn about food. Just the same way, like if you don't learn a little bit about how to budget money, you're gonna spend it on whatever you want and you're gonna go broke or you're not gonna pay, pay, be able to pay your bills and you're gonna be ir an irresponsible human being on this earth and we don't want that, right? We wanna be responsible human beings health is the exact same freaking way. Anyway, that's why I don't like meal plans. That's why I coach people and educate them and you know give them step-by-step, habit-based things to work on because again, meal plans, they might help you lose weight in the short term, but unless you learn why they're working and you learn how to fit it into your life, it's never gonna be successful. Thanks a ton for watching today's video. I will see you in a future video.